when I grew up in Bucharest, Romania, we were many kids in my generation. And in the apartment complex in which we lived, there were literally many, many, many kids my age, very close to my age. And we were playing together all the time. And many of us became good friends. But I remember when we were kids that I was part of a group of girls, three girls, with whom I spent most of my childhood playing, talking, doing girl things. The interesting thing was that even though I loved all of them, they were never open to play all together, the four of us. So it would always be Anna and I, or it would be Valentina and I, or it would be Dana and I. I really enjoyed all of them, but none of them really cared for each other. That was a clear example of scarcity, scarcity mentality. You know, there is plenty of friendship to go around for all of us, but the fact that there's, there were always these discussions about, you know, who spends more time doing what with whom, at times, you know, becoming really needy and feeling like there are not so many options available to choose from. Even though, honestly, we had another at least 20, 30 kids to play with in our building alone. The opposite of that would have been the abundance thinking, where we could all have been friends together, all of us, one with, with the other, we could all have fun together, seeing that as a great opportunity to get to know somebody new. Check out the link in our bio for our Money Mindset course and Abundance Coach certification starting at just $6.99.